Hello and welcome to Lagos Diaspora Dialogue, where I will keep you up to date about what's happening in Lagos and connecting the diaspora to this beautiful city of aquatic splendor and a center of excellence in Nigeria. Today on the Lagos Diaspora Dialogue, we're going to be talking with Mrs. Patience Keys. She's the chairman of Nigerians in Diaspora Americas. And recently, they did some amazing work by donating some palliatives to um, indigenous of various areas in Lagos State. So before we get into the interview, make sure you visit our website, lagosdiaspora.com. There you find out more about how you, the diaspora, can connect with what's happening in Lagos. And do follow us on our social media handles, at Lagos Diaspora, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So let's begin the Lagos Diaspora Dialogue with Mrs. Patience Keys, Chairman of Nigerians and Diaspora Organizations, America. Good day, Mrs. Patience Keys. How are you doing today? I am very well. I'm doing very great. Okay, that's good to know. Um, thank you so much for joining us on the Lagos Diaspora Dialogue. Um, could you just introduce yourself, please? Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chairman, for bringing me on your uh, program. Uh, it's very exciting, and uh, thanks for the connection. Yes, my name is Patience. And the key. Uh, I'm a proud Nigerian. Um, I'm the chairman of Nigerians in Diaspora of Musician Americas, the United States branch. Yeah, um, shortly known as NIDO Americas USA. Yeah, and I'm in the health field. I'm a health practitioner. Yeah, I, and I'm, I'm also an entrepreneur. Okay, that's good to know. So, can you tell us some of the activities that NIDO America does? NIDO was set up to uh, bring together Nigerian professionals, ethnic group, business group, for one primary purpose, national development. We were set up uh, a couple of years ago to, you know, galvanize Nigerians, you know, bring us together to focus on how we can give back to Nigeria. It's the give back organization. So in the United States, we try to um, relate with other Nigerian individuals, organizations, to see how we can work together for the better, betterment of, of our great nation, Nigeria. We have done that by you know, holding leadership conferences, also doing town halls, where we have to travel to different states, using our chapters you know, to reach out to um, Nigerian organizations and individuals in different states in the United States to uh, come together. We've also held uh, events uh, with uh, the diplomatic mission, you know, and uh, all in the, vein, in the vein of bringing Nigerians together. And when we travel, when we travel for these town halls, uh, the diplomatic mission that's, you know, that has a jurisdiction of uh, whatever state we are going to usually travel with us, you know, to make the people feel among, to make the people feel respected and loved that, you know, the nation, uh, you know, is working for them and not against them. Like, I like what you said about um, you bring people together and also that you ensure that whatever activities you're doing there also adds value and it leads to national development. I'm talking about um, something you also said about you're a give back organization. You've done a lot of giving back and um, I must say on behalf of the Lagos State Government that we are really grateful um, for the initiative that you put together to help support a, a lot of people who have been affected by the coronavirus pandemic in Lagos State. So thank you for that. So could you just explain to us what you really did? All right, due to the pandemic, we saw the need and we partnered with uh, always a women uh, international organization in Nigeria, based in, uh, you know, have a chapter in Nigeria, to reach out to uh, Nigerians in Mile 12 region, uh, Ayobo in the Baja area, and also, um, we also reached out to Ajengula. It was a two days uh, program. You know, we uh, put together some food items like rice, uh, gari, um, beans, maggi, and uh, oil, you know, vegetable oil, you know, for the people to be able to, I uh, would take care of them for a couple of days. How many people were you able to reach in those areas? We were able to meet like 200 households. According to the bags that was uh, put together, we're seeing 800, but what we received were like 200 due to the uh, donation that we're able to put together. So after this low-level project that you did in Lagos State, what are your plans um, for the future? This is a, a, um, a pilot phase for us. Uh, the, the goal is to set up a, um, a pantry, you know, located strategically, a pantry or, you know, in different parts of the country on how to begin to take care of our, our people, working with philanthropies, both uh, in, the, in the diaspora and in Nigeria, uh, working with uh, industries, food industries, working with farm cooperatives and all, you know, all the 
putting together the necessary resources to be able to plant pantries in different parts of uh, Nigeria to help our people on a continuous basis. Every life that you've touched um, is very important and we truly are grateful. Based on your invite, I was able to come to the event in Ayobo and area of the Raja Lagos State and it was very, very impactful and mind-blowing. We saw many um, people, um, young and old, who came out who also received um, the pilotage that you bought for them. And one thing I also noticed that you also catered for the needs of those people who were um, physically challenged and also visually impaired um, at the location. What actually led to that? In the area that we went to, we saw that, you know, people that are physically challenged. When you say vulnerable, vulnerable is vast, it's broad. It could be anybody. So anybody, someone who is blind, who is lame, who cannot speak is a vulnerable population. So we're targeting the vulnerable population. And it happened that we met the needs of uh, those who are physically challenged, like the blind, uh, the, 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 the widows, uh, the, um, um, uh, those who cannot, the, the, the lame, the, you know. So it's, it's our joy that we're able to, 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 to put smiles on their faces. Yes, you most certainly did put smiles on many people's faces. I remember seeing a man and his um, children, three or so children there, who came out and who wore their, their mask together. I remember seeing also a lady that was selling and smoking her fish, you know, putting on the mask and um, I'm very, very um, proud and happy to have received that gift. Um, just to mention that because we know what you were doing, the government of Lagos State also decided to um, donate um, 300 masks um, in the Ayobo area um, just to add to what you were doing. You, the work you, you and your team have done is truly exemplary, and we encourage other diaspora organizations to do similar things. You've taken the lead, and we must say that we truly are um, grateful. Um, is there any word of um, encouragement, inspiration you would like to give to people out there um, in Lagos who have seen what you're doing and want to do some? Or yeah, I want to say that um, um, humanitarian services is something that not only the government should do, it's the responsibility of every Nigerian. In the United States, we donate, you know, we donate to every organization that needs us individually. So if in the United States we have poor people, a developed country, you can imagine a country that is developing. It is a way of showing love is the way of showing that we are proud of where we are from and who we are as Nigerians. I'm encouraging Nigerians both home and abroad, you know, to put their interest in national development. I tell people that national development is not about shaking the hands of a, gov a government, uh, um, um, uh, someone as in, as in go governmental position. It's touching the lives of people. Whatever we do in life is about touching the life of one or two persons that will need your help, that will not be able to pay you back. That is national development. And when you're able to do those things, in a little ways, the nation will be developed because the nation is made up of the people. I'm also begging uh, uh, diaspora organizations for us to work as a unison, for us to work together. It is key. If there's challenge in Nigeria, those of us living outside Nigeria, we see how economies are built. We are even a part of building those economies. And there's the place called home. Nigeria is our home. I tell people, no matter how many blue passports they give you, they will also ask, they will usually ask you, where are you originally from? So I am originally from Nigeria and I'm proud to be a Nigerian. And we should be proud to be, you know, who God has made us originally. The government is everybody. We are all ambassadors of our great nation. So we need to work together. We need to put things together. We need to, that's, that's enabling environment that we are all crying for. We can begin to set it up by ourselves and others will follow. Even the government, when they begin to see that people are working selflessly, you know, dependent of whether someone is saying thank you to you or all that, you're helping your brother and your sister. I don't know them. They don't need to know me. I'm sure other, every other thing will fall into place. 
when we begin to do what we need to do, regardless of who is telling you thank you or not. Let's work together. Let's upgrade Nigeria. Let's prove that we love our country by what we do, not what we just say. What, you know, they say love is what you do. Love is not just what you say. Action is needed in this time and age. With this, pandem with this pandemic, it is more than high time for us to come together as a body. And even if everybody don't come together at the same time, those who are like minds, let's run and fight the good fight for our nation. We cannot have another Nigeria and make our people smile. You said it so very well. And we see your heart and um, your passion for your motherland, Nigeria. And we once again do thank you from the Lagos State Government for impacting um, our communities of Ajegunle, Mount Ro, and Ayobo areas. Thank you so very much for your time on the Lagos Diaspora Dialogue. Um, and we look forward to hearing from you um, once again. And we're always open to work with you and partner with you to impact our local communities. Um, the Lagos State Government, uh, I can't say it enough, really does thank you. And I personally do thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Honorable. And I also want to thank you. You know, our notice to you was very short. It was like a day or two, and you jumped at it. You were not looking for protocols. Oh, you should have invited me 10 years ago, three months ago, and all that. And, you know, to us, you are a great leader. To us, you want to serve. And uh, we, we, we know that you are limitless for what you did. You know, in a short while, in a day or two, you were there with your crew and you served. We saw the pictures and the videos you giving out. You know, that was, that was really humbling for us. And those are the kind of uh, 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 people we want to partner with. Uh, yes, I'm, 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 not, I'm not missing words. Your type is the, the, the kind of uh, people in government that we want to partner with. People who are selfless, who understand the reason for leadership. Leadership is, for, as a leader, you're there to serve. You're there to give back. You're there to, to, to put smiles on. It's all about the people. And we really appreciate you. And thank you for jumping at it as we invited you. God bless. Yeah, and thank you for having us. Thank you for inviting me to, you know, represent uh, us in your program. Thank you. Amen. And thank you so very much for your kind words. Thanks for joining the Lagos Diaspora Dialogue. Well, I do hope you're inspired by that interview and felt a passion for national development. And I truly believe that we all must come together, those of us in Nigeria and those of you in the diaspora must come and work together to make Nigeria greater. And if you're a diaspora organization out there, make sure you do contact us and we'll love to work with you and partner to see how we can impact and change people's lives here in Lagos and ultimately benefit the whole of the nation. Make sure you visit our website, lagosdiaspora.com to contact us and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on social media at Lagos Diaspora on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks a lot for watching the Lagos Diaspora Dialogue. I remain Jermaine Songwulu, the Senior Special Assistant on Diaspora and Foreign Relations to the Lagos State Governor, Baba Jide Songwulu. Thanks for watching. <laughs>